In this video we'll be uh, doing the single player laser shooting and I'm going to go real quick with this one. So what we're going to do is um, get the player prefab and add a script to that. So I'm just going to chuck the script in the same folder as the other one, we'll call this laser gun and we'll get straight to, um, to writing the script. So uh, we'll open it up in Visual Studio, you'll see um, the first thing we have to really do is make sure that this is um, a mirror script. So we're going to uh, do the using mirror and we're going to add a couple of um, variables to this. So uh, obviously change this to a network behavior because it's going to have to be working across the network eventually. Um, and uh, we're going to just add in a couple of the variables that we need. So I'm going to add in um, a laser, uh, yeah, transform uh, and we'll call this laser transform this will be the actual laser gun empty game object and we're also going to have a line renderer as well oh yeah both of those have to be public so we'll make both these public so we have to have the line render and that's going to be the thing that's going to draw the line for us um right i think next thing would be to hook this up so if we um go and find the prefab um, and we'll just open that up in the prefab view and I'm going to add in an empty game object that's going to be my laser gun uh, and call that laser gun. I'm going to chuck that onto the main camera as well so that when the main camera looks up and down the laser gun does as well and I'm just going to try and um, move the uh, laser gun into position so that we've got it all sorted and ready to go. Uh, next I'll add the line renderer to that so that we're able to draw the actual laser. I'm going to change these um, corner caps and end caps up a little bit as well, make them two so it looks a bit better. I've changed that to um, local space, so uh, fr from world space, just so we can see what's happening. But I'll move it back to world space because you'll see it's sort of in the middle of the world there. Um, but we're going to set those positions inside of the code. So just jumping back into this now, we'll have a little think about what we need to do next um, for this one so um, let's have a little look we're gonna probably want to yep yeah we're gonna just um, get that script on first up and just hook those up um, so that laser gun get empty game object can go onto both uh, and that will be fine. The next step would be just to get that code um, up and running. So uh, the way it's going to work is we're going to need to check if we're the local player and we press the key down, so we press the mouse button down. Um, if, we, if that's the case, the left mouse button is down, we want um, to shoot, so we only want to shoot if we are actually the local player. So I'm just going to create an empty function that I've not made yet, and go on to um, write that function. So this shoot function, um, I'm going to do it a complicated way. I think the best way to do this would be to um, have the shoot function um, do all the ray casting and uh, draw the have a different function to draw the ray cast to uh, draw the actual laser so um, I'll create the ray right now using um, the laser transform dot position and laser transform dot forward so we have the ray and then I'll use if the physics dot ray cast um, to get the ray I use the, the out variable to capture the um, information back and do a distance of um, 100 so in this next bit um, we probably want to write the next function rather than continue with that so we want to be able to draw the laser Now I'm going to do this a, a, a weird way in that I'm going to actually have a draw laser function right here that's going to take a couple of parameters the start and the end um, but this draw laser function a little bit later on we're going to turn this into um, into a command so I'm just going to run a coroutine so I'm going to have this draw laser function take those two bits of information and actually run um, a coroutine 
Um, so I'm going to write that coroutine now. I'm going to call um, it's an I enumerator type to to be a coroutine, and we'll call it laser flash. And that'll just take the two same parameters: um, the start, a vector three, and a vector three for the end. Um, and what we need to do with that is um, set the positions of the start and the end of the actual laser. So I can't remember what I called the laser. Okay, I called the uh, laser um, line. Is that not working? Oh, I messed up. I call that line again still. So um, yeah, line dot, and then we do set position. Uh, we use position zero. Index zero is the first position. I'll set that to the start and set the uh, the only other one, uh, position one, to the end. And then I'm going to wait for a short length of time. So yield return new wait for seconds, and pass it in. Um, I don't know, zero point three. It's got a long time. And then we set the line positions again back to zero. So um, each of those two positions. It's probably an easier way to do this, but we'll go with this anyway. So we set the line positions back to zero so that the, the laser effectively disappears. So we can go back to the straw laser. I'm going to start that coroutine and pass it in uh, the start and end that we get passed to it and then one more jump back to shoot and we can finish off the shoot now. So a bit of a long-winded way of doing things. So uh, this is where we want to actually um, draw the line because we've we've clicked the button. So uh, we'll call our new draw laser function and we'll pass it in the laser transform um, position as the start position and then the position that we hit because um, this is inside the raycast. In the else we're going to pass in uh, the laser transformed up position again plus we're going to say the end will just be a hundred units forward so um, laser transformed up position plus laser transformed up forward times a hundred so that will just draw it a hundred forward which should be um, fine. Now um, everything's saved we want to just test this and make sure that the laser actually displays so you can see as we're running around now um, you're able to um, shoot your laser and uh, yeah, we're pretty much done.